Hey guys, I'm Robin. Um, welcome to Canso One. Today, for our first lesson, um, we're going to do an onshore theory lesson of the parts of the book. Okay, that'd be fun. Um, okay, so I have a list of them here. This is my whiteboard. It's a little small, but we can see. Yeah, okay. Um, and so there's just a list of all the, the main parts of the boat here, and then a picture here. So I'm going to kind of go through them with you, and then we're going to brainstorm some ideas of what, uh, what each of them do for, for our sailboat. Okay. okay. So we've got our dagger and centerboard. Um, any ideas which one that might be? I can see the centerboard. Uh, I think it's probably that one at the bottom of the boat, right? That's sticking at the bottom? Yes, this long uh, board here. Yeah. Okay. Does it stick out all the time? Can you remove it? Um, you can take it out. Yeah, you usually only take it out when you're docking. Okay. Um, okay, next uh, we have the rudder. Any ideas what that one might be? That's, that's what you steer with. That's what you steer with. Right okay. Yeah, so... Do we hold it, or does that go in? Is that the one that we hold, or is that the one that we go in the that goes in the water? Oh, is it's not it's not the stick; it's the board that goes in the water. Yeah. So the rudder and the dagger board are both the boards that stick into the water and help us uh, keep upright, but also help us to move forward, because when the wind hits our sail, this sticks down deep enough into the water that it holds us in one place. Um, okay, and then the next one is the tiller. Mm -hmm. um, any ideas where that might be on the boat? That's the stick that's attached to the rudder that you hold on to? Yeah, good job. Okay, and then there's also the tiller extension which extends from that if you want to get as far as, as you want in the boat. So the tiller oh, the attaches... Bendy piece. Yeah, the bendy piece. The tiller attaches to the rudder and that's kind of the, the handle, it's like our steering wheel for our, our car. Okay. Um, next is the hull. This isn't just on sailboats, it's on all boats. Um, any idea what that might be? Isn't that the entire boat itself? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of different parts to the hull, but that's I'd mainly just this, the piece that floats in the water. The boat. The boat. The boat. Okay, um, the mast. Mm. Any any ideas on that one? Well, the mast is the tall one that holds up the sail. That one's a little tricky on that picture. Yeah, it's got th two masts. Yeah. yeah, so opties are are kind of a a smaller sailed boat. Um, they have a smaller sail on them, so the mast isn't as big. But on this one, our main sail or our uh, mast is is pretty short but it has an extension off the side which we call a sprit. So this part here is called the sprit? Yeah, the sprit uh, helps keep the kind of triangle shape to to the mast. I mean, sail. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, the next one we have is the boom. That's the part that hits you in the head. I was just about to say that I know that part because I've been hit in the head by the boom. So yeah. that's the bottom part of the sail. That one's pretty right. easy to remember because yeah. because of that. <laughs> yes. And then last but not least, the main sail. Uh, any any ideas on that one? Well, I think there is only one sail on yeah, that boat, mm -hmm. so that would be the main sail. The only sail, yeah. So it's typically the biggest sail if there's two sails on one sailboat, and um, it's usually the bigger one. Okay. Purpose for that is to hold the wind to catch us, or it catches the wind and drives us forward. Right. Right. Does every boat have a mainsail? That was a mainsail. Does every boat have a mainsail? Yeah. Like what happens if they have two sails? Yeah, lots of boats have two sails. So two sailed boats have ha, always have a mainsail. Usually the mainsail is the bigger one. The other sail is called the jib, but we don't talk about that. Okay. 
Um, the okay, so looking just at the hall now and inside, a couple of the things inside of the hall. These are this is specifically the sailboat that you guys are going to be sailing. Um, it's called the Optimus, and so they've got a little bit of a unique type of um, flotation system. Uh, it's not, there's no air in the hull, which most dinghies have, um, but this one has actual air bags. So that's what the, you see the red pieces. And Can there. you sit on them? Um, you, no, typically you sit on the side of the boat, and they're durable enough for you to sit on them and step on them and fall on them. Do you have um, to fill them up every time you use the sailboat? No, they they stay filled um, for the season. You can also like you, you deflate them when you go to regattas and stuff. But typically, you guys won't have to inflate and deflate. Hmm. Inflate. Them. Um, okay, so um, the directions of the hull, kind of. Um, what we call the front and the back and the side and the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's harder to say, go to the side, so we have to give them specific names um, to which side is which. So do you guys have any, um, so let's take the back for example, do you know what that the, the sailing name for the back of the That's boat is? the stern. Good, yeah. Uh, which part would that be on the boat? That's the pointy part at the front. Yeah. Well, that one's not very This pointy. one's not very pointy, but it's uh, usually the front which breaks the, the water as you go forward. So the bow is the front, stern is the back. How about the left side? Uh, Port. You guys. Yeah. Sorry. But how do you remember this? Yeah. It's also got four letters. Yeah, I typically oh, remember it by... Um, Port, so port is the left side of the boat, you're correct, and I usually remember it by um, left and port have both the same number of letters in it, right. and then the other one, the other, the right side and starboard have longer right. uh, words. Port is left and starboard is right. Yeah, port is left, starboard is right. This is the bow and this is the stern. Okay. Um, so we talked about the airbags and then one other thing is the hiking strap. It's a very strong strap that you tuck your feet under when there's a lot of wind and you can be leaning out over side of the boat to keep it uh, a little more flat. Mm -hmm. So that's the hiking strap and those are the black parts right here. Okay, so we're gonna play a game. We're gonna see if you guys can uh, match up. Okay. I have, so this program allows you guys to draw on the whiteboard okay. um, to match. So let's do the first one together and then we can, uh, I'll let you guys try and figure out the rest on your own. Okay. So we've got the top, I haven't done them in the same order as last time. Uh, and also a little bit of a different image. Oh. So um, hopefully you guys and distinguish which is which. Um, okay. So, um, what do you, so the first one I've got on the list is mast. Mm -hmm. um, can one of you guys point to which one that is? Do I touch it? No, just point. There it is. Okay. So you basically can just draw on your, with your finger. Yeah. Oh, okay. And draw a little arrow if you can. Cool. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hold this. Okay. Yep. So the next one is the dagger board, and that was the board that sticks down the bottom. Tiller, I can do. Okay. That's over here. Yeah. Right there. Oh, I don't think so. I think she told us that that was the um, the stick. Oh, so it's up there. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, what's the next one? Main sail. That's the big one. So that's this one. 
boom is where you hit your head. <laughs> right there. And the rudder was the other board in the water That's attached what I got wrong. to the tiller. Oh, what's that last one? The sprit. I don't think this boat has one. The sprit was on the opti, right? Right. Yeah, that it other... It was the one that went... Right. Like that. Okay, good job, guys. Um, yeah, I think you guys worked it out together. A um, little bit helped each other out with that one. Yeah, the sprit was a little bit of a trick, ah. trick question. Um, and you did draw it in the right spot. This particular boat doesn't have a sprit and won't have a sprit uh, because the mainsail goes all the way to the top of the sail and it's not a square shaped sail. Um, the added jib helps or compensate. Okay, now same sort of thing. Uh, you guys are gonna help each other out in drawing some lines to the uh, the sides of the boat and the content inside of the boat. Okay. Are you gonna give us hints? Um, yeah, sure. I can help. Okay, guys. Yeah. Um, how about we draw first which part you put your feet under when there's a high higher wind? Oh. Oh. Um, hiking straps. Good. Um, next, we're gonna do the right side of the boat. And remember, right has more letters than left. Okay, that would be starboard, so that's this side of the boat. There we go. Good, the right side. Um, and the back of the boat. Can you draw that one in next? Back of the boat's the stern. Perfect. And um, how about the flotation in this vessel? I see three of them. They're called airbags. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Good. Those are pretty unique to the sailboats that you guys are going to be sailing. Uh, okay, last one. Um, not the back, but the front. Which one? How? What do we call that? That'd be the bow. Good. Okay, do you guys have any questions about the sailboat? I'll go back to the original image. Um, there's... Any when do we get to sail? Um, we're going to go look at the boat itself and then maybe do some lessons on what we get to do while we're on the water and then um, we're going to rig one up together first. Yay! All right.